revelation. Manifestations. Miracles. Infinity with Dr. Rennie McLean. Hi, I'm Dr. Rennie McLean. Welcome back to Infinity. And for those of you joining us for the first time, I tell you, your life is gonna be changed. You know, last week we began this quest regarding infinity. And we learned that infinity has no limits. When God made you, he didn't put a limit on you. God doesn't see you the way everybody else sees you. God doesn't look at you from a cultural perspective, even though he can use your culture. He's not limiting you to your culture. Because if he did, infinity would be limited. So thank you for tuning in because I believe you're gonna go further in infinity and come into all that God has for you. I want you to think this thought because often when God's gonna give you something new, he asks you a question and the question often teases your curiosity. It makes you think. Do you know that that's something that I have found a religious person cannot do, is think? Because they've been pre-programmed by an old way of thinking, whether it be from their culture, their upbringing, the way they were raised, who really knows? But they're limited in their perspective. And the idea of bringing a new thought is so hard for them because to them, life is only the way they were taught it. The idea that there's another world and that the world is changing is hard for them to conceive. So infinity stops in their life. And what they begin to live off is memories. And they begin to rehearse their memoirs because they're not growing any further. Has your life ended and you're just doing the same thing every day? Have you accepted that this is you? Or are you willing to break the barrier of your experience? Are you willing to go a little further? You know, every day in our lives, the kingdom is coming constantly. The Bible says in the Lord's Prayer, Abba, Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. The idea is conveyed that the kingdom is continually coming. So in other words, to my father, the kingdom came, but it didn't stop. If I don't have a progressive revelation, then I'm not expanding my infinity. I'm not growing, I'm not becoming all that God wants me to do. I want you to stay tuned today because you're gonna step out of where you are and you're gonna go to a place you've never been. And it is legal to think what other, people's won't, what other people won't dare to think. It is legal to go beyond your peers. It's legal. You know why? Because there's no end to infinity. And I know that as, you're, as, as you get connected to this ministry, you're gonna come more into infinity. And you're gonna begin to take the limitations off of you. If God has not limited you, then why should you limit yourself? Pause and think. Have you tapped out? Are you still going through the motions? Or are you in infinity? 
is something new happening in your life. Because I've got news for you. God wants you to experience something new every day. That's why it says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But when the kingdom comes, listen to this, it has to break the walls of resistance. That's why the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire, uh, listen to this, the difference between a millionaire and a, the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire is a zero. You're at a zero right now. I don't care how rich you think you are or how poor you are. Everybody is at a zero because when the kingdom wants to extend, you know because you begin to realize there's more outside of where you are now. I want you to stay tuned as we break this barrier and we go further into infinity. Your world is about to get a lot bigger. Stay tuned, Infinity returns after the break. I'm excited to be able to come to you today to let you know that we're living in unusual times. And in unusual times, where you get your news from is very important. Sometimes it's not that you don't believe the news, but it's where the news is coming from. In the past, we've had MSNBC, we've had CNN, we have had Fox, but now there's a new network coming forth in the earth designed to bring you cutting edge truth so that you can have a crystal clear perception or view of what's really happening in the earth and how it affects you. It is God's voice coming into your world through this network. This network is called RMM TV the network that has no limits attached to it. That means the news will never be censored. You will hear revelation live as it comes direct from God, how it will come into your world and change your life. Don't forget, be a subscriber to RMM TV today. RMM TV is available on your iPhone or Android device. Also on iPad. Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Download it now and subscribe visiting your favorite App Store or Google Play Store. RMM TV, delivering infinity into your hands. Welcome back. I want you to go with me in your Bible to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. It says, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made out of things which are visible. I want you to notice in the Bible, the key word in that verse is the word worlds. God created the worlds by the word of his mouth. You are living right now in God's world, but until you understand how to create your own world, you will always be a visitor in somebody else's one. You have to understand that if you allow somebody to create your world for you, they'll create it too small for you. As God created his world, he has given us the power to create our own world. Now, there are different worlds. There are different worlds. There are different ages in that there are different times or moments in time. Um, let me give you an example. Communism is a world. Can you imagine that communism came out of a man's mouth? Karl Marx, the author of communism, that was his world. And he got a lot of people to buy into that world, communism. You can create your own world. Communism is a world. Politics is a world. Because the marketplace varies. It depends on who you are to the marketplace. You have to know how to create your world. 
Everything God created, He created with His Word. Remember what I said to you in the previous show. If you didn't see last week's show, I really want you to tune in to last week's broadcast. If you can, I want you to go back and just check the show out again. Because we learned a lot about speaking. Everything God has ever done, He has spoken. And so because we're made in His image and His likeness, our world comes out of our mouth. We too must speak our world into being. That's why you've got to watch what you say. If you don't want it to happen, don't say it. If you don't want it to happen, don't think it. Because what you begin to think, you're going to begin to portray it in your actions. Whatever your world is, you must begin to speak it into being. That's why there's some places you go, you just don't fit. It's not that they're not your people, it's not your world. <laughs> and so you've got to feel comfortable in your world. And as the world is the way it is, your world is the way you want it to be. Do not limit God in your life. Anytime I want something new into, when I want something new to come into my life, I have to speak something again into my world. You can speak people into your life and you can speak people out of your life. Watch who you allow into your world. Not everybody is as free as you are. What's normal to you is not normal to someone.